This is a project I covered a while back, and if you look at my, if you do a search my videos for just a PIR and a LED string, you'll find it. It was basically how to use one of the standard Arduino PIR modules with a simple uh, transistor module to drive strings of LED lights. And one of the nice things about these pass and thread modules is they can see through uh, the polythene type plastic, so the kitchenware, you can actually put it in waterproof kitchenware outside the battery pack and the sensor itself and it will be able to see to a modest range through that sort of plastic. In this case, uh, here's the module, and uh, what I did in another video, I basically just added one transistor and two resistors and a battery pack, and it means that this will just run for a very long time. Depending on how often it's operated, it will run these lights for a, you know, a considerable length of time per off a charge of these batteries. However, uh, what I was going to do this time is pull the module off. Now this is a very standard module. It's it says if you do a search on eBay for Arduino PIR, you'll find these modules. They're cheap and readily available. They're just one of the most common PIR modules on eBay. And interestingly, they have a facility on a lot of them for adding. They've got a couple of extra pads for a light sensor because as it as standard, it will just operate day and night. And you know, if you're controlling Christmas lights, maybe that's not a bad thing. But it, you know, it would be nice in some instances to uh, have them come on just at night time when they're really sort of more going to be more visible. So I've got an LDR. Uh, this came from eBay in a huge pack, as is the case, because you know they're so cheap. You can just go on eBay and buy big packs of components like this from China because they are so common. And if I can find the paperwork regarding this. So here is the uh, data sheet, well part of the data sheet for the BISS0001 chip, which is a very common chip here. And it's got an input in pin number 9, VC, trigger disable input. And basically speaking, um, if that pin in voltage and that pin goes above 0.2 volts, it enables it. But if it goes below 0.2 volts, um, it's disabled. So what this... Uh, L LDR does is it's going to actually in daylight it's going to pull that down so it is actually that pin so it is disabled and you can actually see if uh, we look at the sample schematic for this uh, for the BISS here it is here here's the light sensitive resistor of the LDR and here is a resistor which it turns out is already on board here R2 and the value of the R2 uh, resistor in this case they have put in one Mega ohm, and it's you know I traced it all out. Uh, it turns out it's uh, where, where's something I can point at this with. Uh, I'll point it with this test lead. On this particular style module, and there's a few different types of layouts. There's a diode down here, which uh, it takes the voltage in, then it goes through this regulator, uh, and then the resistor here has the value one zero five. And it's connected directly to the pad for the LDR. And the 105 is 105 zeros, that's 1 million, which is 1 mega ohm. So let's uh, cut to the chase and solder this in. So the two pads are clear and ready to accept the LDR. So I'm just going to shove that down like that. Uh, I'm going to have to, if I touch the front of this uh, sensor, I'm going to have to wipe it off afterwards. You don't really want to get greasy fingerprints in the front of the PIR sensor. And I'm just going to get some solder. And I've already just touched the sensor, but that's, I guess, that's just what's going to happen because it is your fingers in the immediate vicinity of that. And I'm just going to solder these leads right now. So that's one soldered. Make sure this is in a decent position. Yes, it is in a decent position. It can be bent uh, to to suit. And the other joint, a wee bit footry, a wee bit hard to access in there, but that's it done. So let's get the snips. I'll use the generic Chinese eBay snips for this. And I'm going to bend this fairly close to to the uh, sensor just so I can get the cover over it. So I'm just going to rub that on my shirt to clean off any grain that might be in the front of that uh, sensor. And then we'll see if this cover does actually fit over. It does seem to fit over. So now, theoretically, if I plug this on, making sure I get it the right way round, 
Uh, it shouldn't trigger, but uh, it should only trigger now when it's dark. And the only way I can really test this is to turn this, turn all the lights off in here. So I'm going to do that right now. So now in the dark, the sensor should be picking me up, and if I just move now, and there it goes. So that does work, that's pretty good. So that's a very useful feature to have, that you can actually add the LDR to make it uh, only operate when it's fairly dark. So um, let's uh, take a look at other things we could possibly do to tweak this. So if you found that this was actually coming on to, you know, when it was a bit too dark, which it seems actually a modest sort of... Uh, it seems uh, quite a good combination, the one megohm resistor and the, the LDR. But you could theoretically tweak that by adding another resistor in parallel with that existing one megohm resistor that's on already. And uh, the easiest way to do that would be just to solder another resistor in parallel, say between 10 megohm to 1 megohm, depending on how much you want to change it. And you could uh, put it between the one the LDR pad that's connected to the end of that small surface mount resistor and then the positive supply rail. In this case, it's shown as 5 volt, but I think it's actually 3.3 .3 volts in these. And that would uh, then change the sensitivity. So it's got scope for experimenting. And of course, if you decide you want to revert back to having it uh, just lighting during the day as well as night, you could just then either just cut that out completely or just cut one lead and just bend it up for reconnecting later on. So um, yeah, it's, it's a nice twist to see that you can do that with these.